Before we sent the messenger mission to Mercury, I think we had a very simplistic idea of what it was going to be like. And Mercury turns out to be a more complex place with a more interesting and complex history than we had previously imagined. But of course, all things have to come to an end. And once we were out of fuel, we could no longer burn our engines to keep from crashing into Mercury. And sequencers. After four years of observations, Messenger's fuel finally runs out, and the spacecraft adds yet another crater to this tiny world, where any prospects for life were scorched away when it was thrown too close to the sun. The sun's outer corona burns at a scorching one million degrees, releasing a barrage of charged particles that travel at around 400 kilometers per second, the solar wind. This onslaught would strip away our atmosphere, but for the powerful force that protects us, the Earth's magnetic field. The solar wind is this stream of charged particles that comes streaming out from the sun. And at Earth, which has a powerful magnetic field, when those charged particles begin to get close to Earth, they get diverted around Earth by interactions with that magnetic field. That protection keeps solar wind and other ionizing radiation off of the surface. So on Earth, where we have this really great magnetic field, we are nice, safe, and sound inside the shell of that. 